Hey, welcome to the Teach Me Magic Strike. And it's ma uh, teach Me Strike. Teach Me. Teach me magic. Teach me, teach me magic today, <laughs> guys. Welcome. So I'm so excited today because we just saw the fight and we and Brian had an interview. Please log on to Brian, subscribe to his channel. You get to watch our interview based on the mm. fight. It was a long day. We talked about a long day. Yeah. Time. Anyway, um, so we're going to talk about today the striking part, the, the most uh, the underrated kick. And I talked about in early classes about this low kick. Well, you're going to kick my calf? Uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to bring you kick your calf. What do you think about that? I want to go ahead. Come on. Okay, give me I'm your best shot. I, hold on. I have a better idea. You know, but people are by complaining about this, so I decided something else. I have another guest here. Hey, come oh, on out. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the official dummy. <laughs> so I'm the we, kicking dummy so today. <laughs> we know this guy is... He's going to take the calf kick. He's gonna, I'm right. out. Well, let, me, let me roll so my shirt. Look, look, at, look at the size of the leg. If you can zoom in on this side, Brian, if you, if you come in inside, look, look at the right. size of his kick and look at the size of my leg. So it's like, and so I can't allow... So it's, Brian can't take this because my legs are very skinny. So I'm going to make sure that we take the best possible way out of it. So right. important thing to recognize... That what happened between the fight McGregor and Connor? McGregor, I mean, <laughs> Perry and, and yeah. Brian. So if you watch, if it was orthodox, orthodox. So Connor fights, Connor fights left-handed. So that's why he leans down all the time. But this time his opponent was southpaw also. So now this is really important to recognize. So that means Connor is fighting his own reflection. And that means whatever tool he did in the past, is going to happen to the same thing. Whatever you can hurt somebody, he can hurt you with the same thing. So if I'm softball and he's softball, if I throw my left hand first, I have the power hand first. And if he throws back, whoever throws the power hand has the advantage. Same thing with my leg kick. If I throw this leg first, I have the advantage. If I throw my, this leg first, I have the advantage. Same thing with him. Whoever throws a power kick first has the advantage. Now, what that makes difference, McGregor was getting leg kicks. I want to show you what the leg kicks. I am for a second. I'll be, I'll be Poirier. What is Poirier. it? Poirier for a second. And I want to show you what he kicked. So as you're standing here, this is the ankle. This is the calf. Okay. So from here to here, people think it's a calf muscle. In reality, if you come on this side a little bit, come here. It's this part of the calf that you're hitting and this part of art, there's a tendon there. That's when you hit him. Oh, can you feel it. it? Can you feel it? It's like a massager. <laughs> yeah. So you see this below the there. kneecap, there's a tendon pressure here. When I press it, you can feel the pain. Oh, do, you yeah. feel, do you feel it? Yeah. So when you do, watch, even with my finger touching, when I kick this leg here, and you see what it does to yeah. you? Little, okay, little I'm gonna, sting. Okay, sting. Now watch this. <laughs> now bounce it a little bit, bounce a little bit. Now watch, I put it down there. So McGregor got hit with this kick. And now, now I want you to bounce now. Okay, so now watch, that's a touch of the leg. So as I'm going to wrap around, look, do you see the red color? I did not do that. I, I, that's one kick. That's a red top. Can you see the red color in the camera? Or no, I don't know if you can see. If you don't see it, if, if not, you will watch it again. So watch the, and what I mean wrapping, I did not kick straight. I'm and really, I'm really glad that Anton came today. And I'm happy I'm it was Anton, so you can't complain that I've been, look at, I've been. Look at the surface area. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so it's, it's a big area. So you guys have been complaining, so now I got, I got a big guy here. It's really good. So watch, when I did it, it's not, a, it's not a typical, it wraps around. What it does, it wraps around the foot. Look at my foot that goes around it and goes around the foot. So it's wrapping foot. That's why it's called wrapping. Even if you try to change his shin a little bit, he has to turn a lot of knee. Make, McGregor couldn't turn the knee a lot. Look, you yeah, try to turn, right? Yeah, yeah. Look, because yeah. if you come from the other side, Sergio, you come from the other side, even when you turn it, Look, I still am hitting his, he thinks he's blocking. He's not blocking. It's definitely not blocking. Come on this side and this side from here for a second. Now look at this part. Even when I'm kicking, look what's happening. It is going behind his shin. Is This is his shin. This is his shin. And even when he turn the knee, look, my shin is not touching because my instep is catching up on the other side. You see it? Here, one more, one more. And now, and now, can you bounce? <laughs> Guys, I'm not making. Can you please yeah, tell yeah, us yeah, what it is? Hey, Maja, I'm, I'm stepping in here. Okay. Come on, can man. Can you know? Hold on, we this need to is... ask him. How do you feel? It's like a. It feels like there's a ball st starting to form right now. Now, pay attention, guys. What he said. There's a ball starting. That's remember I said in the interview. The blood stuns in right away to protect that tendon. There's a tendon here, it's and like after a while, while it feels numb. Yeah. And after yeah. a while it feels numb, the body will start protecting it. When McGregor went his corner, they should have rubbed it out. 
it would rub, look at the red colors, it should have rubbed the blood out, out of there. But what happens every few minutes when he starts walking or something, the blood would rush in more and more because the adrenaline is kicking in. And when the adrenaline kicks in, it will rush to the muscle to protect it. So Brian, you know, when you were talking about the uh, McGregor couldn't move his leg, even when, when you try to leg check, see how you turn your knee away? I'm not going to kick you anymore. When you're trying to turn the knee, even when you try to, the shin is here, guys. People don't realize the shin is, in order to do that much, he has to turn about, pick up a heel. No, like this, you pick up a heel. Oh, you want it, okay. So this is how you block the kick. But he, he just kept on doing this, just turning me a little bit. Yeah. That little turn he cannot do anything. I'm not sorry. Maji, okay, it, okay. it, it doesn't work because normally when you kick my leg, uh -huh. okay, so let's say you're, uh, you're southpaw. I'm southpaw. And then if, I, if you throw a leg kick uh -huh. and I turn my leg out, you're hitting this top part of the quad, which can still damage me. Yeah, it can. But, but, but it's not that bad yes. for me. It's yeah. not that bad. I can lean into Very it. Good for not, this but, is... but when you go to the calf, it doesn't matter because it wraps around. So you're like, I'm not going to be able to always go like no, this. No, yeah, no, you're right. So what, what you can do when you, let's say I'm going to stand here and I'm going to stand here. So when he kicks me, it's not, it's not this or it's not this. You can't, so watch when, 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 when he hits me, go ahead so don't hit the hurt your shin. Yeah. So when he does that, when he kicks me, watch, it's this. Whoa. See what I, just did? <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. Did you, see, I can turn my foot and he can break his instep. You see what I just did? I put the weight I, up there. I just said, you can't do that. And then Maja <laughs> went, I'm gonna do that. I'm so sorry. So no, I, it's I, okay. I did, I did say go slow. Yeah, I, but yeah, but I wanna I, like kick. So guys, I, wanna I feel didn't do this, this okay? I'm just telling you. I'm, anyway, I wanna learn. Anyway, so as he comes in, the trick is not to just turn the knee. You have to pick up the heel, look at my shit. Look how I turn my shit. Is he can't wrap right. around me. I have taken 45 degree angle. From here to yeah. here, I've taken. The only way you can wrap around my leg is you come through a 45 angle. What I mean, he has to come around my head. Now, if you, Brian, you stay over there, and now you have to take one kick. So what? When <laughs> I, so what? When I mean wrap around it, so what? I, look what I do. My, my, where's my contact point, Brian? My calf. It's this. You yeah. see how it came? It didn't touch here. It didn't touch. It touched here. So that means your knee, my contact point, that means your knee has Yeah, to I have here. to go out like And the only way to do is pick up your heel. Don't, no, don't flat, just pick up your heel. That's yeah. it, that's where you brought. So another thing what Brian just mentioned, guys, that even on top of the thigh, why was he aiming for the top of the thigh? Now there's a tendon here. It's the same thing, are you guys bring, we bring our brother's friend. No, 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 come on, come so, on, Brian, let's what, okay. So right. this is the thigh kick that he was hitting. It's a wrapping thigh kick. It's not a regular right. thigh kick that's on the top of the Yeah, but you can't, you can't watch, always watch. predict it. No, no, I know, but this is a regular thigh kick that people do. Now watch, right. I'm gonna do a wrap the foot around it. Watch this, Brian. So it yeah. comes behind it. Yeah, ooh. Oh, that's one. See that, that guy, guys, that kick was hooking behind it. Can, shit ain't right. Brian, I'm sorry, I'm really we sorry. We should, this Brian, is like stupid Brian, shit. We, guys, look, oh, striking is not for like everybody. We should like work on jujitsu today. <laughs> because like striking hurts. We got, let, you know what this, this is? It's true. I don't like this shit do you, anymore. Do you, do you, I'm gonna change Brian, my life. Brian. I'm gonna go into a different. Let me, like, tell, let me tell you what the difference between striking and wrestling. In wrestling, if I'm getting choked out, <laughs> If I'm, I can always tap, but in striking, if I fire an arrow, the arrow yeah, is going, I can't stop, hey, tap, it's too late, the punch is gone. <laughs> you tap, you tap, 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 no, I can't tap it, it's too late. Boom, that's the thing, when you have a fire, if you do get hit, look how I hit, as I wrapped up, where did you feel the pressure, can you tell them what happened? Yeah, I mean, okay. where did it, it happen? You know what, look, okay, look, there's guys, a color here's over there. the thing, okay. If you hit me in the thigh, that's different. It does hurt. Yes. I've been kicked in the thigh before. I mean, I've fought before. It hurts. But what you just did, you can okay. see where the red part is. You hit it just, just above, above the, the kneecap. kneecap. Yes. And it and what I felt was a crazy jolt in the there's, tendon guys, area. Exactly, guys, there's a tendon here which paralyzes and stops yeah, it, and it swells up. It's, and when this it's is swelling lateral, up right now. There's a lateral tendon supporting your this kneecap. This is bullshit. And it steps it up and it stops you paralyzed. So let me bring yeah, the heavyweight. Yeah, no, you can't take let that. Let me bring the heavyweight guy, but let me help yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> heavyweight guy. <laughs> okay. So Just what? As you, as, you can see, as, as you can see, his legs develop. You see how big the muscle <laughs> you hear is. Me? I'm so if you come in this up. Much. We can't just kick the shit out of people all day. You see, you see the muscle here. You have a lot of muscle here. You see how the muscle is already built up. Here. But watch, come on this side. There is no muscle here. See that? There is no muscle here. It's you can have a muscle. This IT band here. Like exactly, you said. It's a lateral tendon band. So when you bend your leg, I don't want to hurt you. So when I bend, watch when I wrap my foot around it. 
It's a different kind of a pain. So when they go around it, yeah, oh, yeah. Sting. Yeah. Yeah. The sting. Now get that. It's the same sting you felt on yeah. the calf. I don't want to hit hard because that's the okay. That's okay. Yeah. You <laughs> see my foot. I'm not gonna hit you. If you see my yeah. foot, the wrap around it. Yeah. It's not. It's not here like this. It's yeah. not like this. It is in step, touching, wrapping the foot around it. So it's going almost like a clap. This is what the clap is like. Like anchoring the foot. Like you know, saw when you cut the grass here. So boom, like this. When I'm cutting the leg, I'm ripping around the foot. And that's what the wrapping kick is, guys. You can use a thigh on this above the knee. It'll take more time, but it's hard because sometimes the knee gets caught. That's why people don't do that because actually you can hit the knee and hurt your foot too. But this has a better advantage because there are no consequences. He has to turn his foot a lot, but in the knee you have higher chance. If he turns the knee, I'm gonna have break my foot. That's why this is a safer area to hit. Even if he blocks it, look, I have an easy time here. Easy time, but if I do the with the knee, I can really get hurt. And you can see my knee can hurt myself. Anyway, Maja, look, this is all great. Yeah. Everybody loves it, but okay, the calf kick, everybody's been talking about this. It's not like totally brand new. Yeah. Like it's been going on for, I want to say, I, I could be wrong, give or take five to eight Six, years, yeah, that's somewhere true. in there. Like five to eight years, people have been like talking about the calf kick. Mm, exactly. Now, again, you had a fight before where you got kicked in the calf and it literally broke your fibula. Fibula, which is your behind fib, the, the shin. The bone that's behind, behind the, tib, the, shin. the tibia. Be, no, t right? Yeah, the tibia is your uh, shin. Trin, yes, right? Behind and so the, the fibula. Yeah, fibula. So he wrapped the kick. He, would just, he went crazy. Like he just caught. What is it? Uh, he just went on like this crazy. And, he, and I, the funny thing is, I was teaching in my class, and he kicked me with my own tool. Like I said, McGregor kicked by his own tool. So sometimes you get this reflection. When it broke, my, I remember my, my bone, like my, I thought my muscle was sticking out. Every time I put the pressure, the, the muscle would stick out. So like, it, I thought it was a muscle, it was actually my and bone. I don't even remember, but that, that had to have been, what, like eight years ago or yeah, so? Yeah. So, you remember? Well, I, yeah, but like people weren't talking about the calf kick. Yeah. Now, why? Let me ask you, because you have a lot of striking experience. In kickboxing, it seems, in MMA, it's drastically different nowadays. Everybody is more, they're trying to train the calf kick more than they're trying to train the low kick. Exactly. And, and, and so in kickboxing, this, if it, it must not have been taught that much back in well, the day. Because the kickboxers are teaching the MMA guyers. Well, that's, the MMA that's gu really guyers. I, MMA I, guyers. I just I, made up. I, I love what Brian brought up. Do you up see what I'm saying? Yeah. The, Maja, I, the kickboxers Brian? were teaching MMA guys how to thigh kick. Yes. Why weren't they teaching them how to calf kick Very 20 years question. ago? Now, remember what he just said, guys. First of all, you have to know the knowledge where it's coming from. You were learning as a typical... Muay Thai kickers. I, have, I love Muay Thai guys. They have great kicks. They have great sweeps. But the American kickboxes were combined with karate background, which was Japanese style of sweeps and Thai kicks. They were using all the time. If you watch Machida, which is a Japanese style, who do the sweeps, outside mm. sweeps, he was continuing to do that kind of stuff off. But now, that's where American Sensei Benny Urquidez, if you watch Sensei Benny Urquidez, he would hit them calf kick, which is also a sweep and a cap. And we hit them around all the time. He would pick them up. That's why if you watch Shukushin, Shotokan, they do that stuff. Yeah. If you watch how they do, wah, so, wah, they do it, all the time. I, but, but they have three minute round. This was a challenge. I guess, I guess it's kind of like, uh, old I, because I'm a grappler. Back. I'm a grappler. So yeah, old traditions coming back. There's grappling techniques, whether it be from catch wrestling or, or something else, or even yeah. old school jujitsu. And they, they, they get a revival of the technique. And then, exactly. And then it, it because now, every, especially now, I mean, they've been talking about it for years now, yes. but it's, this was the, a very high profile Did fight. Everybody's going to be going, dude, it's all about the calf kick. It's all about the calf kick. So then they're going to start working on defense. You mentioned checking it, turning out. I don't want to drag this on forever, but what about getting out of the way if you just don't lean like McGregor? Do you remember there's a video I mentioned how to break the foot? And I said, it's yeah. very, very and good. And you're picking technique. it up as you go and out. No, you don't yeah. do what's well. so okay. I'm going to show right in two seconds. So he gives me a leg kick. So he gives me, this is a regular leg kick. Oh, on the thigh. Uh, on my, in my calf. Rip my calf. He wants to rip my calf. Ah, ah. So watch what I do. McGregor had to do this. This is my favorite technique. I, instead of, it's my own way of doing things. You can do your own way. But instead of missing the kick, what goes slow, please? Right, 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 right. So I've done this kick, before. I know back, what happens. Yeah. So as he goes back, what I do? I just slip just enough. So when he's kicking me, I'm looking the eye contact. 
Look yeah. what I just did. Look what I just. Look at my foot. Come closer to me again one more time. As I'm slipping, I am. He's catching yeah. me. Come on this side. Come on, sister. Come on this side. Come on this side. The angle. They, the yeah, door. I think they can see that pretty so good. As he comes in, are. I just move just enough where he touches yeah. only my toes. When he touches my foot or my toes, look. This is the sensitive part of the foot. He can break, and I'm blocking with my end of my foot. What means? And you pick it up just a little, right? And I pick it up just to then, pick up. The, oh. oh, look! Look what I just. I turn yeah. my knee and makes my foot turn very easily towards the knee, which hits the instep. And you can break the foot very easily in cop. Yeah. So guys, if you learned something, this kick was not this kick was not a new kick. It's an old tradition kick. That's why Brian knows that I was already teaching. And I was already teaching before. Remember when we had a fight team, I was teaching about the sweeps, yeah. the calf kick, the above the kick, four inches up. The whole area below the knee is yeah. a very sensitive area. If you take the foundation off of anybody, you can stop their bouncing. I remember one time I was boxing at this guy who was a very good boxer, and he had a good boxer, so I want to take his feet away because I want to kick him. So what I did, I kept on hitting sweep, pa Bah, in the cough, bah. Yeah. And he couldn't bounce anymore, so he was like a standard up dummy. But in this case, McGregor was dummy because he didn't want to engage in kicking. So you plant his foot down. When you plant your foot down, you cut the tree from the base, and game is over. If you know how to hit the right spot, it's done. That's the, that's the argument. I'm convinced that's the argument why we have to be well-rounded martial artists. We cannot just use straight up boxing skill. Boxing's great. great. I'm not, it's great, but you can't just come in with boxing, and, yeah. especially if somebody has a great strategy of like taking out your legs. Exactly, and you so. can't say boxing is better than kicking, kicking and boxing. No, no, kicking is not enough. Kicking needs handling, and, and, and kicking and boxing, that's not enough. We need grappling and wrestling, yeah. how to avoid and strike and elbow. We need uh, a all you need is a calf kick, damn it. That's it. <laughs> like, like anything else. See you guys. We'll see you guys later, thank you.